Hello guys, how are you doing? Well, I just got home from work, awfully hungry, so I made some Stouffer's lasagna. Just got that out of the microwave, it's cooling off a little bit right now. But I'm going to have my little bit of dinner, and after that I've got a special surprise. A good friend of mine gave me a gift today, and I've been excited to receive it. It's finally here. He got me some fancy coffee. So, uh, after dinner, I'm going to open this box up right here, and I'm going to have me some fancy coffee after the lasagna. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to go good with the lasagna or not, but a little White Claw hard seltzer. So, let me get this uh, consumed, and we're going to make a little coffee and have some apple pie. I think it's Dutch apple apple pie from Walmart. So we're going to be living high on the hog tonight. Okay, feel much better. Lasagna was very good. It's one of my favorites. Stouffer's makes pretty good lasagna in my opinion. But anyway, it was very good. The hard seltzer was a good match. But now this is going to get good. I'm going to unbox my gift. Tiny Goat Small Batch Coffee Roasters. <laughs> and I can't say the name. Yoga Cha... Yoga Charara Baba. That's the name of the coffee. Curated Tiny Goat Blend. I know I said that wrong, but... And this one is... Ba Mastre Rainforest, dark rich for slow brew. I think we'll try that one first. Oh, and these cards tell about the coffee. And this is very high end coffee. I'm looking forward to trying it. So let's go give it a try. Well, this hotel room has two bathrooms. I use one for the bathroom and I use the other one for the kitchen. So this is where we're going to make the coffee. I need a tripod. Tab to pull, it says pull tab to open. Oh. Well, I can smell it already. friend also gave me this to make pour over coffee. I told her that uh, I'd never tried that before and it works very good. Gotta get my scooper. So I should be warming up the coffee. Well, the water, I mean, not the coffee.
that smells good. Do three scoops, three teaspoons, or tablespoons. Just where you can see it. Smells good. I think in video editing I can reverse that so it's readable. More information about coffee. I'll leave a link to the website down in the comments. So I'll be back when the water's ready. I was just looking in the box. I've got a coupon. 15% off my next order. Okay, coffee or the water is starting to boil, so let's make some coffee. And by the way, this coffee's from Peru. And this pour-over filter is, is awesome. Just perfectly uh, delicious coffee. And it's easy. No more instant coffee for me. I've been drinking instant coffee for uh, nine months now. Feels good to get back to regular coffee. I'm going to switch the camera around so you can see what I'm doing here. Excited. It smells so good. And that's all there is to it. McDonald's cup here to set it in here till I can dump it. That's it. Nice hot coffee. So let's go sit down and have a cup. 
Okay, I'm back. Got my coffee. I haven't tried it yet, it's pretty hot. <laughs> and a little Dutch apple pie from Walmart. Can't wait. good very good I like it and something about having something sweet and a good cup of coffee just goes good together even even cookies or just something sweet followed by coffee it's very good Anyway, guys, I will leave this uh, link to these coffees down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Have a good evening. Good night. Yep, I'm back. Hey, I finished my pie. Sitting here ed editing the video so I can get it... Uh, Posted tonight and uh, sipping on my new fancy coffee and I, I was noticing a really unusual and very good aftertaste to the coffee and it tastes kind of fruity and uh, so I got to looking at the bag and it says stone fruit pumpkin and cacao which is like a gives a little chocolatey flavor so yeah I'm very impressed with this coffee I highly recommend it. Anyway, I just want to thought I'd throw that in there. I'm going to finish getting this video edited, and we'll get it posted. So you guys take care. Have a good evening.